Let's dive into the Aston Martin Crafter Pass and let's figure out all the ins and outs and everything you need to know before you use Creator Code CDOM and buy the upcoming season pass. Let's take a peeky peekies, shall we? Yeah, CDOM sounds good. All right, come on, guys, let's do it. Um, first, we're gonna go to the store. Keep in mind, I'm on test server. Everything we do right now is fake, it's Fugazi. Okay, it doesn't mean anything. It's fake. Sort by new. Don't forget all the new esports skins. Sonics, Twisted Minds, Gen G, Four Angry Men, 21. Uh, 1550 G coin a piece. I will be giving away two codes for the Sonics set esports skin Friday during Friday's live stream. Do not miss it. Be there or be square. The Aston Martin Crafter Pass is going to work very similar to the McLaren Crafter Pass. Okay, so it it is the Survivor Pass, just like a normal Survivor Pass would be. So you can purchase said survivor pass here, which is what 1200 G coin. Um, it says crafter pass, Aston Martin basic pack. Once purchased, you will be unable to buy other packs, which contain the Aston Martin crafter pass. That means you have to make a decision upfront. Do you want to spend the 1200 G coin or the 5,000 G coin upfront? Now, the difference there is if you spend 1200 G coin, you're going to get the pass and access to all the missions and all the unlocks that come with those missions. You're going to get a prime parcel. The prime parcel is going to have all of these potential items inside of it. To keep it very simple, it could have simply upgrades to the Aston Martin vehicles, like the color changes, the brake caliper changes, the wheel changes, or it could actually have one of the vehicles inside of here. So the top three, you have an 8.5% chance to get the V12 Vantage Roadster, which is the standard edition. You have a 5.1% chance to get the Lux edition. It's the same car. It just has a like better paint job uh, options, a bigger spoiler, some different uh, changes like that. And it can do the convertible uh, a top, lay it back, lay it back. Then you have a 6.3% chance to get the DBX, the SUV. And then of course, all below there, you see there's the percentages is for all the paint color schemes and blah, blah, blah. So you could have any of those items in there. It's a random roll crate. And you get a hundred of the Aston Martin tokens. Okay. You get all that for 1200 G coin, which is the, the season pass plus maybe the car off the rip and a hundred tokens. If you spend 5,000 G coin, you'll get those same things, but you get five of these prime parcels. So five chances to right off the bat unlock the SUV or one of the two roadsters and all the other unlocks that are in those crates, you get 20 level up coupons. So you automatically advance to level 20 of the season pass. You get 500 of the Aston Martin tokens, and then you get an animated uh, nameplate of one of the Aston Martin roadsters barreling through a tunnel, which actually looks, looks pretty bitching. I like that. Okay, capiche? So 1200 G coin or 5000 G coin, create a casino if you're going to be a dumb dumb and splurge on either. Now, in addition to those items, you can buy the parcels themselves. For 250 G coin, you get one parcel and 15 tokens. Then there's 2500 G coin, you get 10 parcels and a prime parcel and tokens. And just to make sure I'm clear, uh, the prime parcels are these kind of, you see the highlights, the lights around the sides, and this one kind of looks a little more bland. The bland ones have a lower percentage chance for some of the items. And this one, I don't even think it even comes with the car. I don't think it even has a chance to have a car. Let's see. Uh, the regular loot caches, these do not contain a vehicle, but they could contain a prime parcel, which could contain a vehicle. Okay. So that's the differences between the different color little parcel guys. Uh, then you have a 6250 G coin option and a 12,500 G coin option. And you just get more chances with more money you spend, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna buy the this guy, the 5,000 G coin one. Again, this is test server. We're just gonna get, get the, the biggest one and uh, big bucks, no whammies. Unlock him. All right, so boom, we got the pass. We got 20 levels. Uh, we got the V12 Vantage Lightspeed Animated Nameplate, 500 tokens, and the Prime Parcels. And then what's inside the pass? So starting at level one, you have a hat. Level two, tokens. BP, tokens. Regular parcel, workshop chest, uh, tokens. BP, clothes, workshop, tokens, keys, 21. Uh, emblem, or a spray. BP, helmet. Contraband coupons. Loot cash, clothes, tokens. Animated nameplate, kind of. 
slightly animated. It's like anime, no nated. Key, cash, tokens, BP, cat, tokens, cash. But you guys get the picture. This is you're gonna level up the survivor pass, and you're gonna unlock all this stuff as you level up. Okay. You can go all the way to level 70, but here's the deal. The last crafter pass allowed you to rank up past level 70 and still earn uh, tokens, the McLaren tokens. Then you have the weekly missions, daily missions, seasonal missions, which have more tokens, more BP, et cetera, et cetera. More tokens, more tokens, all kinds of tokens, tokens everywhere. It's ridiculous. Now you might be asking, well, Cedum, what the frick do I do with all these tokens? I'm glad you asked. We go to the Aston Martin workshop, Aston Martin crafting, and boom, you just rolled into the brand new dealership of Aston Martinness. Inside of here, you're going to see the cost of all of the items, okay? First and foremost, the two roadsters, the standard edition, the luxe edition, and the SUV edition. So 1,500, 2,500, and 2,000. They should have made that 2,100. 21. Then you have all the paint schemes, um, the individual paints, the pinstripes, the wheels, the brake calipers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Don't buy any of this other stuff until you get a car unlocked, number one. Now, uh, or you can even, uh, look, you can itemize it. So if you only have the basic Vantage Roadster, now you know exactly what items you can purchase. So you don't accidentally buy uh, customizations for something you don't even have. That's good. What we need to see is we need to see how many tokens you get for buying or for completing the survivor pass, okay? You wanna see the car? Let's see the car, here. Here's the basic uh, basic roadster. It's like the standard one you can get. The most basic one you can get. It comes in this color here. Dude, it, it looks badass though. It's got the V12 in it. Ooh, sounds good. Sounds good. Then you can eventually unlock uh, green, red, seed on purple, and blue. All really good color choices, IMO. Pinstripe, you can put the white pinstripe on it. You can put the wheels and the brake calipers. That's your boy right there. A little green, a little purple, yeah, yeah. Then the uh, Lux version, Lux version can uh, do doors open and the top up. Ooh, it's got an upgraded exhaust too. You hear that? Nice, nice, cool, cool. Uh, so you have two default options of paint. The white, ooh, ooh, daddy liked the white. Damn, that looks good. And the blue, then you have the upgraded, you know, green, red, purple, all, all these colors available. A lot of colors available. Damn, look at that thing chromed out. Pinstripes available, all the pinstripes, uh, all the different wheels and all the different brake calipers. I want to see this one, the iridescent. Oh yeah, the iridescent one looks cool. That's cool. So that's all the upgrades for that one. And then you have the SUV, comes in the green and the, uh, the oh, the white. This is a V8. Well, twin turbo V8, so it's not going to sound as cool. Uh, and here's all your colors. So, I mean, you guys get the idea, right? So there's all your customizations. Um, this one cannot open doors or anything, though. You can change the brake calipers. You can change the wheels. All this costs money, though, okay? This is all stuff you have to unlock. All right, so that's, that's what what's, what's up for grabs. Now, inside of the actual pass, let's do a quick calculation to see how many credits you get, okay? So number one, um, you got the, the pass itself which is here. We bought the expensive pass and that came with 500 tokens. If you buy the standard pass, you're going to get a hundred tokens. So let's just do some math, okay? So if you buy the big pass for 5,000 uh, G coin, you'll get 2120 tokens at the end of it. That's for completing all the missions and doing the season pass. That does not include the loot caches, which you could get more tokens from, and it does not include any additional loot caches you might buy with G coin along the way, okay? That's just like the basic stuff which you get. So you get 2120 G coin, which is enough to get either the standard Aston Martin Roadster or the DBX. So you could get either one for the 5,000 G coin option and doing all the missions. For the 1200 G coin option, the regular cost of the, the pass, you're gonna get 1720 G coin, which means you can only get the Roadster and you'll have some leftover uh, for upgrades. You'll have like what, 200 leftover? Does that even get you anything? Maybe some wheels. Yeah, wheels or pinstripes or brake calibers. So you have a little bit of something uh, left over. So for those who are wondering how much it's gonna cost to get it, it's the cost of the season pass. And you'll be guaranteed to get the base model Aston Martin as long as you complete all the missions. That doesn't take into account any of the RNG. RNG meaning the crates you open up, you might get more than what you actually thought you were getting, okay? So that should answer that. 
and then uh crates here we go so i have two regular crates which these should only have regular workshop stuff like clothing items they could potentially have aston martin tokens or an aston martin prime loot parcel so let's go and open up these two. Oh, i got the mr moss set okay that was one of the limited time uh skin sets for sanok sanok reborn young sergi set okay so just some general workshop skins then i have five of the aston martin prime parcels reminder these could have one of the vehicles or it could just have um tokens or upgrades for the vehicles all right i opened up all five and boom hey look we got wheels we got token we got the lux aston martin we got wheels again and a blue paint job lit that worked out um okay oh oh PUBG dirty you have to craft <laughs> you have to craft the vehicle after you unlock it hello <laughs> 25,000 credits no shot hey guys future Cedum here just wanted to make a quick edit to the video I realized that I didn't explain it properly during the live review if you do unlock the Aston Martin via the tokens that you earn from the survivor pass you do not have to recraft the vehicle inside of the workshop system to then unlock it. So if you unlock the Aston Martin with tokens, it immediately goes to your inventory and you own that vehicle or those brake calipers and paint colors. You only have to spend those extra credits to craft the vehicle, the paint jobs and the brakes if you unlock them uh, via the crate system. So if you open up those RNG crates, and you get the vehicle or the skins or the wheels in there, they'll appear in your workshop inventory where you then have to spend your credits to actually craft the item and use it in the game. So sorry for that confusion. It wasn't perfectly clear the first time, but that should clear it up. Let me know down below if you have any more questions. Back to the video. Is there even a point to open up these? Once you unlock the car you want. I, I guess if you wanted to spend money on these, the only thing that potentially you would get is A, another imprint of a car. B, you could get, you know, the paint jobs and upgrades and stuff like that, but it's only imprints. So in a nutshell, just to do a little quick recap, uh, credit card seedum. If you buy the standard survivor pass for 1200 G coin, you're gonna get all of the, uh, all of the uh, challenges, all the missions, okay? Complete all the missions. At the end of doing all the missions, not counting any RNG from the crates. You could get really lucky and get one of the cars from the crates, like I just did. Not counting that. At the end of all the missions, you'll have 1720 tokens, which means you can unlock the standard roadster at the end of the pass. The 5,000 G coin survivor pass bundle, you'll get 21, 21, 2120 tokens. So you can get the DBX or the standard roadster um, and you'll have a little bit left over. So then you have to actually craft the item, which means you need credits. All right, so we'll craft the Lux Roadster. Yay! We got the Roadster. We got two different paint jobs. We got the pinstripes, the wheels, and the calipers. And then how much do these... You are unable to craft this item as it requires a special skin you do not own. Oh, this is for the SUV. So they won't even let you craft it accidentally because I don't, it knows I don't own the SUV. That's actually pretty good. So those two wheels are for the SUV. I don't own the SUV. Same thing for the paint. So it won't even let me craft it yet. I'd have to save up and get the SUV. So vehicle, equip, edit skin. Give me that white daddy. There you go. Very cool. Call me dome, see dome. Okay, any questions? Is it bad value? I still don't think so. Because if you think about grinding the season pass, for me, that's fun. I like completing all the missions and shit. At the end of the day, you'll get the basic roadster unlocked, which is, uh, it's, it's cool enough. You know, it's not open doors and all that kind of shit, but it, it's cool enough. And it's, it's the cost of the, of the survivor pass with no extra money, except the workshop credits, which is a little, you know, that's a little, eh, but from a, like bare cost perspective, twelve dollars for the for the whole season pass, and you get the the vehicle. That doesn't seem like a like a bad value. It, it seems it seems okay to me. If you get two thousand tokens to buy it in the workshop, do I ha do I still have to craft it after that? Not with it. Oh, you're saying if you actually buy it here. Uh, so what she's asking, uh, if I'm if I'm reading your question correctly, is if you get enough tokens here, do you have to craft it? The answer from the McLaren pass was no. You just you got it. Uh, let me see. Can I even test it here? 
you don't have enough tokens to craft the item so so to answer your question no you do not need the credits if you craft it via tokens so after you complete the survivor pass and you have your 1700 tokens or your 2100 tokens for the suv if you craft it here you get it like it's it's in your inventory it doesn't go to the workshop and then you have to craft it again like you get it right here 